Alright guys, today I'm going to be making a video showing you how to connect an external radio module to a FlySky GT3B. Um, lots of my videos I say apply to the GT3B or the GT3C, but the external module can only be put on to the GT3B due to it running off of a 3S LiPo or 8 AAA batteries. It runs off 12 volts basically. Uh, which is usually what external modules need. GT3C only runs on one LiPo, which is 4.2 volts, which isn't enough. So I'm going to be using a DTF UHF uh, JR module. Um, mostly this video will apply to people doing ground FPV, which is becoming more... Uh, more popular I think. I see more people trying to do it so I think it's becoming more popular. I figured I might as well make a video because usually these stock, the stock radio modules max out at uh, maybe 100 meters or something like that. So and then well of course even if you put an external 2.4 module on you'll probably get better range but if you put an external um, ultra high frequency long range module you'll be able to go quite far probably far enough that your video will limit you. So depending on antenna, I should put a better antenna. Anyways, anyways, this is how to connect a uh, JR module to a GT3B. And it doesn't have to be a JR module, it could be a normal external module. So first things first, I want to take out these four screws. Okay, so we've got the four screws out here, and then you do, the top plate just pops off, so make sure your antenna is pointed up. And there is clips kind of about here, so it might take a little work to get them out. Okay, so once you pl pop these plastic retainers off, the whole unit just kind of slides up. Um, you might have to pop that off. There we go, there we go. So it all pops off. These, uh, these button covers just sit on there so make sure you don't lose them same with the um, wheel the selection wheel so just take these off take these off take the cover off and you can pull up well you'll have to uh, pull up and out because the power button slips through anyways once you get that up you can see I'll lay it down Okay, we well can see some interesting things here. Okay, so I already have it done, obviously. Um, you really only need three pins to power a JR module and most external modules. There's five pin, uh, like female slots here, but you only have to use the top, not the next one, and then the, I guess, third and fourth. So the top takes a PPM signal. The third is a battery voltage, and then the fourth is ground. So, if you look here, uh, it's kind of messy because I soldered it, but this is the voltage regulator. It takes the battery voltage and drops it down to 5 volts. So the very top pin, or left pin, if you're looking at it like this, make sure this heat sink is on the top. So the left pin is battery voltage, the center pin is ground, and the rightmost pin is the 5 volts, I believe. So if you just solder a wire, um, in my case purple and gray, for, well, power and ground, I guess. So the left one is power, middle one is ground. And then, if this is the actual radio module. And the if you're looking at it from here, the leftmost pin is the PPM. Um, or rightmost, if you're looking at it from here. Basically, the pin that is closest to the voltage regulator. You can see on the other side, it is labeled kind of almost under the screen, but it is, you'll just have to trust me that that's the PPM cable. So you tap the power off the voltage regulator and the PPM signal off of the RF module. And then I just drilled a hole and got the wires on the outside. Okay, so we got the radio back together here. Um, so now you should have the wires sticking out the side. Sorry, you can't focus here. 
All right, so you should have the wires sticking out the side. I just drilled a hole in the bottom here. Uh, I should have specified earlier, I guess. I'm using the those wires that have a male header on the end. I'll put links. So, and then this is the important part. It has extra long headers for getting in the JR module. These little, these little ones wouldn't reach. So I just plugged it in, but. So you'll need four pins. And uh, the top pin, you'll plug in your PPM from the radio module. The next pin down, just leave blank. The third pin, you'll plug in the power from the voltage regulator. And the fourth pin is your ground. So then basically, once you have that, just make sure you line up your pins so that the top one is going in the top slot. And then it slips right in. And then now when you power up your radio, it also powers up and gives signal to your external module and that's all you need. Um, I used to have it Velcroed as you can see here, um, but I'm actually, I think I'm going to actually 3D print a bracket maybe because I just got a 3D printer. But uh, yeah, if you, you'll have to find your own way to attach it, but that's, that's it. You just take the three wires from inside, put them in this uh, header thing, which I'll put a link to. I think I, it was six or ten and I had to cut it down to four, but that's easy. Then you plug in your module and then you're good to go. If you're using not a JR module and just an external module, you'll just have to figure out how to connect it yourself. But yeah, that's all you got to do. And then you will have a long range ground radio.